so very good morning yes good morning beta uh let's start the discussion of as i already told you when you were joining firstly i'll discuss the whole syllabus fine you should know so that you didn't uh, don't miss anything i have already circulated the pdf beta i guess almost a month ago ab to month se zyada hi ho gaya fine let's see uh, first of all beta uh, reading comprehensions the part of your syllabus means in in reading section section a of your paper two passages will be there fine once again i'm telling you so that you mentally prepare yourself so two comprehensions they can be discursive or factual or analytical what do you mean by that uh, you can get a passage which is discussing the personality of a person or general phenomena suppose it is about covid suppose it is about some ailment healthy habits fitness anything so discursive passages they are not fixed to one thing only any phenomena any topic about any place thing object clear country anything can be there so then in second passage also you will be having uh, some uh, visual representation like you can have a pie chart you can have a bar graph clear so uh, some data can be in the passage itself passage ke andar hi data diya hua hai any form can be there and you need to analyze it fine math sab sab ne kiya hua hai and when it is written from this year to this year crop production was itni fine this much and then in this year it deteriorated so it in that way you need to analyze fine on the basis of that questions can be there but do not expect simple questions that whatever is written you will be finding the answer it can be assertion based also लाइक like, ऑप्शंस ऐसे हो सकती हैं आपकी जैसे आपको चार ऑप्शंस गिवन है फाइन उससे पहले वन एंड टू स्टेटमेंट्स आर गिवन बेस्ड ऑन द पैसेज क्लियर एंड यहाँ पे लिखा हुआ है एबीसीडी में दैट स्टेटमेंट वन इज करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट टू इज करेक्ट बोथ फाइन or none वैसे you do not expect none or all of the above kind of questions you will be having four options only in most of the questions ninety percent questions fine अभी join हो रहे so assertion based questions can be there ध्यान से question paper पढ़ना you have to be very very particular that direct A B C D नहीं होएगा हो भी सकता है नहीं भी हो सकता so mentally prepare yourself is it clear to everyone Online children keep sending me thumbs up so that I know you are getting my point. Okay, so in reading section we are done. Then it can be true, false based, matching based, gaps based, fine, anything. Then we have uh, writing. In writing, beta in the syllabus itself it is mentioned descriptive paragraph of a person, fine. Because time beta is less, so that's why let let me not write on the board because I want to interact more today. So descriptive paragraph is there, and then short story is there. Clear? So these two skills are part of term one. Now I'll be just discussing verbally. Fine. Descriptive paragraph of a person. Now what should you know? Questions based on the writing skills. fine you should know the format format based questions as well as content based questions both can be there suppose the one short story is written there in the story there are five blanks on the basis of those five blanks five questions are asked to you clear similarly a paragraph is written content is written or they are asking suggest the suitable title of the story fine and similarly for paragraph also the right order of the story 
when value points you should know content based questions format based questions dono cheeze aa sakti hain yes titiksha what is your query jaldi jaldi beta you can speak i unmuted you ma'am pehle aapki baat hai aditi sama ke mujhe bhi maine kiya tha yes मैम आपकी पहले आवाज नहीं आ रही थी ओके ओके फाइन फाइन नाउ इज इट क्लियर ओके एवरीबडी इज गेटिंग माई वॉइस बेटा एम आई ऑडिबल टू ऑल बाकी के बच्चे ठीक है सो डिस्क्रिप्टिव पैराग्राफ शॉर्ट सॉरी दो ही राइटिंग स्किल्स है देन ये साचना यू लिस्निंग यू वर आस्किंग की वॉट इज देर इन द सिलेबस ठीक है अपना पी डी एफ जो मैंने भेजा था काफी देर हो गई आई विंड अगेन सो दैट इट इज क्लियर टू यू then grammar beta in grammar we have tenses we have subject verb agreement you can note down or you can check the pdf also we have tenses subject verb agreement we have models determiners reported speech in reported speech we have commands and requests statement based or questions wh question as well as yes no wale question both we have done now the questions based on grammar now it can be gap filling it can be one direct speech is given in the question and four answers to indirect speech they are written you have to find the correct answer but how you will do it if you know the rules only okay so your knowledge of rules which tense is applicable in which condition universal phenomena ka kaun sa tense hota hai when universal phenomena is there which tense is used simple present so so you should know that also it's not that you should know content aapko kuch bhi aa sakta hai yes riyanshika well done present and definite clear so in that way when we talk about habit and universal phenomena or continuous uh, sorry uh, when we talk about some action going on at the time of speaking yes magan which tense is used when action is going on at the time of speaking yes very good present continuous tense is used when work has been perfectly completed yes lisa past perfect present perfect when recently completed when time is there lapse is there then you can say fine so in that way you should know the rules as well as you should know the correct answers also fine editing can be there also How come one passage is given? Fine. उसके सामने आपकी blanks भी बनी हुई हैं and last में आपका one A B C D next question A B C D and make sure there will be forty questions. Do not get confused. Uh, sorry, there will be fifty questions. Uh, sorry for speaking forty. There will be fifty questions and you will attempt all fifty. उसमें कोई choice नहीं है आपके पास. clear no choice will be given to you you have to attempt uh, if choice is given in one or two cases perceive accordingly but otherwise no choice is 50 yes beta wo mention hoga ki number question ka don't change the order as per your requirement aapne question paper ke accordingly chalna hai and sath sath mein answers mark karne hai if you are 100% sure if you are confused ऐसे किसी ने भी नहीं करना है कि पूरी ओ एम आर शीट खाली छोड़ दी कि पहले क्वेश्चन पेपर टिक करते जा रहे हो करते जा रहे हो लास्ट में हम ना मार्क कर लेंगे सर्कल्स को नो नेवर डू दैट यू नेवर नो यू विल नॉट बी हैविंग टाइम आल्सो एट द एंड व्हेन फाइव टेन मिनट्स विल बी लेफ्ट जल्दी जल्दी में हेस्टीनेस में यू विल बी मार्किंग एंड यू कैन मार्क रॉन्ग आंसर ऑल्सो सो वन आंसर इज क्लियर मार्केट सी ऑप्शन टू इज बी ए चलो बी किया third in that way if you are having doubt in any question put a dot over there fine pencil rakh lena dot dal dena then continue don't stuck at a question ki main pehle isko 1 ghanta sochta rahu ya cheating karu never ever rely on any other person this is very easy for you but mcqs are not easier yes to attempt the paper it is easy just you are not supposed to write too much jaise pehle karte the mark hi karna hai but that mark you have to apply your brain clear yeah? बिल्कुल एडजेसेंट होना चाहिए क्वेश्चन पेपर का जो क्वेश्चन है और जो आंसर शीट का आंसर है दे शुड मैच कहीं पे गड़बड़ हुई पूरा पेपर गलत फाइन क्लियर है ओएमआर शीट मैंने बता दिया था हाउ टू अटेम्प्ट 
so i won't be repeating again and again so this is your uh, syllabus of writing tenses models fine i discussed everything then beta after that we have chapters now literature part in moments book lost child the lost child fine the adventures of toto in the kingdom of fools the happy prince clear sare kar liye hain acche se revise bhi bahut acche se ho gaye then we have poetry the road not taken wind rain on the roof a legend of the northland then we have beehive beta in beehive we have the fun they had the sound of music the little girl a truly beautiful mind and my childhood 5 plus 4 plus 4 total 13 theek hai total 13 chapters are including poems all done all revised now uh, i wanted to tell ki aapko pata rahe syllabus those you were asking many of you were asking ki ma'am ek bar aur revise kar lo now we'll be discussing beta now tell me the name of first poem is the road not take up okay let's revise poetic devices okay yes any doubt to anyone regarding syllabus beta you can ask me online children also we are going to discuss rod not taken find first poem the road not taken that was the first topic you remember we did in class 9 by robert frost you should know the name of writers of the chapters and poets of the poem ye nahi ki chapters ke राइटर ऑथर्स जो भी है आपको पता होने चाहिए क्लियर यस yes beta in this firstly uh uh they have used in this poem symbolism you can say firstly what is symbolism when one word is representing some other idea concept or phenomena fine beta seedho ke baithi please that is called symbolism here two roads diverged in yellow wood they start the road not taken the road this word itself is a symbol it is symbolic of the choices we make in our life fine the road is symbolic of choice so first of all symbolism is used find two roads that represent two or more choices in our life is the answer to it clear then we have uh, what is anaphora anaphora is when beta a word is repeated consecutively in two lines or more lines find when a word is repeated clear in consecutive lines that is called anaphora like example is ki and repeated at the beginning of line 2 3 and 4 fine beta when a word is repeated in consecutive lines jaise first line mein and word hai second mein bhi fir and hai fifth word mein bhi and use kiya hua hai consecutively two or more lines may same word is repeated then that is not repetition repetition you remember what is repetition yes first letter same that is alliteration i am saying anaphora is beginning of line may in the beginning of ye yaad rakhna 
in the beginning of consecutive lines theek okay. hai like two three lines are there and the beginning word is same and then and then and in that way that is called the device of anaphora fine yes riyanshika right what is now repetition let me clear here only repetition kya hota hai repetition is when a word is repeated or a phrase also when a word or phrase is repeated that is called repetition the road not taken the road which i wanted to choose suppose the road bar bar use ho gaya fine that is called repetition then we have alliteration main abhi devices se pehle discuss kar rahi hu because lisa had confusion about this thing what is alliteration lisa now see alliteration is repetition of consonant sound alliteration is repetition of consonant sound kitne consonant hai english mein 21 kitne vowels hain 5 5 vowels 21 consonants fine a e i o u these are vowels when a vowel sound will be repeated that is also a device that is called a sonance You should know. I exam me I nahi I nahi I but you should know. Fine. A sonant says when vowel sound is repeated. A e i o u me se in that way. When consonant sound consonant kaun se ho gaye? Jitne bhi bach gaye baaki saare fine. Twenty one consonant bache hain hamare pas. so that is called alliteration when consonant sound is repeated clear hai yes online children offline children ko clear hai aap batao jaldi se is it clear kiski alliteration ki i say rough weather raining fine r sound is repeated fine that is alliteration bubbles bubbling in the fine water bubbles bubbling b sound is repeated that is alliteration in that way clear samya yes beta online children send me thumbs up beta jaldi se is it clear to all shall i move forward okay fine now we were doing that isme kaun se use hue hain alliteration is used here in road not taken wanted where beta jo bhi queries hai please type in the chat box now i won't be able to unmute itna time nahi hai wanted where theek hai w sound is repeated in road not taken kahan pe use hua hai alliteration wanted where is it clear <coughs> then beta repetition is also used in road not taken ye wala device usme edges word used hua edges you can see in the book is it used divya or any other word you can see i because i'm not having the book right now with me repetition a word is repeated somewhere edges and edges hence hai to last mein dekho I still remember इतनी बार करवाई इतनी बार पोएम करवाई हाँ है ना मेरे को याद था I have not you know my book is not with me today somewhere edges and edges hence one word is repeated twice so now you will say कि ये तो हो गया ना for a मैम ने बोला था no when word is repeated casually that is called repetition of word or phrase 
बट यस वेन इन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ लाइन एक लाइन का जो फर्स्ट वर्ड है उसकी नेक्स्ट लाइन का भी जो फर्स्ट वर्ड है दे आर सेम दैट इज दैट इज वेरी लेस यूज्ड डिवाइस ठीक है बट जो मेनली आती है दैट इज सिमिली मेटाफर रेपिटेशन एलिट्रेशन सिम्बोलिज्म सॉरी यस बेटा बेटा सिंबल इज यूज टू एक्सप्रेस रोड इज अ सिंबल ऑफ चॉइस यू मेक इन लाइफ वो सिंबलाइज कर रहा है डायरेक्टली पोएम में ऐसे नहीं लिखा था चॉइस आई नेवर मेड ये भी तो नाम रख सकता था वो पोएम का अ पोएट हैज टू यूज लिटरेरी डिवाइसेस सॉरी सो ही रोड द रोड नॉट टेकन इन दैट इट इज इट इज सिंबॉलिक ऑफ चॉइस सो दिस इज सिंबलिज्म नाउ नेक्स्ट पोएम बेटा क्या है बोलो यस rain on the roof wind <clears throat> yes wind poem <clears throat> in this poem beta yes tell me the name of poet subramanya bharati spelling you should know name you should know M A N यही है स्पेलिंग फाइनली चेक फाइन वाई फाइन एन आई ए दिस इज इट सुब्रमणिया भारती इज द पोएट ऑफ द पोएम विंड फाइन ना पोएटिक और लिटरेरी डिवाइस इज वन एंड सेम थिंग विच आई वेन आई यूज द वर्ड पोएटिक डिवाइसिस वेन आई यूज द वर्ड लिटरेरी डिवाइसिस इट मीन्स वन एंड सेम थिंग फर्स्ट इज एनाफोरा इज यूज देख लो कितना यूज हुआ है ये एनाफोरा इज यूज इन दिस पोएम विंड कहा पे हुआ है सी द पोएम यस बेटा सेकेंड थर्ड एंड फोर्थ लाइन ऑल आर स्टार्टिंग विद वर्ड डोंट फाइन तो दिस मीन दिस इज एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इन द बिगिनिंग बेटा याद रखना है इन द बिगिनिंग एंड इवन इन सिक्स सेवेंथ एथ लाइन देखो सिक्स सेवेंथ एथ ऑल्सो स्टार्ट विद यू फाइन यू से बार बार स्टार्ट हो रही है लाइन That is also example of anaphora. Underline करके लिख सकते हो Keep your books with you, बेटा Then personification. What is personification? When human qualities are given to objects or ideas or concepts. Wind is treated as a person in this poem. Fine. Wind has been personified when the poet says, "You are." you means he is treating the wind as a person in wind beta personification wind is personified he is saying you are why you do this in that way he is interacting with the wind so personification bahut bar use hua then we have alliteration एलिट्रेशन अभी बताया था आपको रेपिटेशन ऑफ कॉन्सोन एंड साउंड एलिट्रेशन होता है इन दिस पॉइंट बेटा विंड विनोज विंड विनोज डब्ल्यू दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एलिट्रेशन फाइन यस वेन ह्यूमन क्वालिटीज आर फाइन सो देन In alliteration, beta wind winnows, and then we have repetition. In this poem, also, why why devices? You should know, bus. You should understand. 
यस रेपिटेशन में क्रम्बलिंग वर्ड इज रिपीटेड बोलो लीजा क्या एग्जाम्पल है क्रम्बलिंग हाउसेस क्रम्बलिंग डोर्स यस क्रम्बलिंग वर्ड इज रिपीटेड अगेन एंड अगेन नॉट इन द बिगिनिंग फाइन इन बिटवीन बार बार यूज हुए तो दिस इज कॉल्ड रेपिटेशन क्रम्बलिंग वर्ड एग्जाम्पल ऑफ रेपिटेशन और भी हो सकते हैं बट आई एम जस्ट गिविंग यू वन वन एग्जाम्पल देन एक जगह और एलिट्रेशन यूज हुई है वॉन्ट 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 डब्ल्यू अगेन वहां पे भी है फाइन बी स्मार्ट वर्क कर यू शुड नो देन बेटा वी हैव सिंबलिज्म इन दिस पॉइम ऑल्सो क्लियर सिंबलिज्म at the end i when i concluded the poem i told you know what is wind representing wind is representing beta personification is different i'm saying what does wind representing here in our life wind kya hai wo kehta hai na don't break the windows fine yes hardships humne theme bhi likha tha difficulties yes riyanshika very good so wind is symbolic of difficulties hardships and tough moments of our lives fine so wind is also used as a symbol now it depends ki aapko question kaun sa aaya symbol ke upar aaya personification ke upar aaya or any other device is it clear we are done with wind poem also next poem is यस नेम ऑफ द पोइट बेटा साथ साथ लर्न करते जाओ डोंट लीव इट कल करेंगे परसों करेंगे पोएम नंबर थ्री द रेन है और रेन है so you should know that also rain on the roof acha tell me which poetic device is used in the name of the poem only alliteration rain on the roof r sound is repeated okay got it theek hai by coats kini c o a t e s ye coats wo wala coat nahi hai theek hai k i n n e y hai beta make sure that i write correctly on the board Sometimes we people also forget, right? So rain on the roof is by written by Coates. So can you see? O A T E S. Now literary devices used in the poem. But a rhyme scheme, आपको पता लग जाएगी अगर stanza given होगा. Rhyme scheme तो you have been doing class since last fifth only. Remember ना how to check last words देखते हैं A B C D करके in that way, right? Literary devices is uh, सबसे पहले तो एलिट्रेशन उसके नेम में यूज हुआ है उसके बाद मेनी टाइम्स दे हैव यूज एलिट्रेशन इन दिस पोएम अंडरलाइन ह्यूमिड होवर एच एच साउंड इज रिपीटेड एक तो यहीं पे हो गया सारी सफेयर यस वेरी गुड बेल हो गई है लेट मी जस्ट स्पीक सारी सफेयर बेटा ये लिटरेरी डिवाइसेस में एलिट्रेशन है एलिट्रेशन मीन रेपिटेशन ऑफ कॉन्सोनेंट साउंड यस डार्लिंग ड्रीमर्स वेरी गुड रियांशिका डार्लिंग ड्रीमर्स प्रेस पिल्लो पी साउंड ओके जल्दी जल्दी सुन लो सेकंड लिटरेरी डिवाइसेस ऑनोमोटापिया पैटर वर्ड पैटर व्हाट इज ऑनोमोटापिया व्हेन ये आपके सामने इट इज रेनी सीजन पीटर पैटर साउंड ऑफ द रेन ड्रॉप्स पैटर वर्ड एज वेल एज इट्स एक्चुअल साउंड आप इसका ध्यान से आवाज सुनो ठीक है तो एक्चुअल साउंड एंड वर्ड वेन दे रिजेंबल सेम दैट इज कॉल्ड ओनोमोटेपिया स्नेक हिस करता है वर्ड एंड हिस द रियल वॉइस दे मैच क्लियर सो दैट इज ओनोमोटेपिया इन दिस पॉइम पैटर 
देन परसोनिफिकेशन यूज हुआ है नॉन लिविंग थिंग हैज बीन ट्रीटेड एज ए लिविंग पर्सन क्लियर देन एलिट्रेशन बार बार यूज हुआ है ओनोमोटेपियन परसोनिफिकेशन दैट से ठीक है one poem is left that you go through and if any doubt is there you can ask me have a nice day all the best do your exam well good luck beta